Hello everyone, it is great to see you here once again on Dee's Delights. Tonight we are going to be making popsicles. The last time we made popsicles, I did not have my handy dandy molds. We used little cups. Not quite as convenient. Did the trick though. Tonight we are going to be making blueberry yogurt swirl popsicles. And I have changed the recipe a little bit. I'm making a little bit more. Uh, I'm going to be using three cups of vanilla flavored yogurt, or you can use whatever flavor you like, but I am going to be using Greek vanilla, three cups, which is one thirty-two ounce container. I'm going to be using three tablespoons of honey and about one and a half cups of fresh blueberries. Make sure they're washed and dried off. That's it. That's all we're going to need. And of course, our little handy dandy molds. So first, what we're going to do is blend the blueberries in a food processor on high speed until nearly liquefied into a smoothie-like consistency. So let's go ahead and put our blueberries in. Uh, they look liquefied to me. Then it says pour the thick blueberry liquid into a large bowl. Stir in the honey. Now you can use as much or as little as you want. I'm using a little bit more than it calls for. Not much more, but a little bit. There again, I'm using extra yogurt and less blueberries. It also says here you can use agave. I've never used that before as a sweetener, but if that's what you want to use, and I don't know if I'm pronouncing it correctly. Add the yogurt and very gently mix everything together. If you want a tie-dye swirly look to your popsicles, do not fully blend the yogurt and the blueberries. Let's just put the three cups in there. So I think I'm just going to mix mine totally together. just so we have an even consistency. Now one thing, I've made these before, what you're not going to want to do. If you are going to work, make sure you brush your teeth after you uh, eat one of these popsicles because the little chunks of blueberries tend to get caught in the teeth. It's not pretty folks, it's not pretty. <laughs> or if you're like on a first date, don't eat one of these popsicles. If you want to add a little bit more blueberries, go ahead. I just like the yogurt. Let's take a little taste. Yeah, that's pretty darn good. Pretty darn good. I could think I could just eat that. <laughs> this came with it. I don't know if this is going to help me out or not. We'll see. Uh, no, that's not going to help me out because it's too thick. This is only for liquids. So I'm going to be forced to eat that. Tag on it. Tag on it. So we'll see if we can get 10 out of that. And then I'll just wipe the top off. I'm excited to see how these turn out in my new molds. You can get popsicle molds on Amazon, probably Walmart too. I could not find them in the local stores. There was one place that had them, but it was just as expensive to get them locally as it was just to have them shipped right to the office. Yes, this will make 10 popsicles. I'll scrape off the excess. And I'll just put that in a little cup with a popsicle stick in it. That way I'm sure I have them totally filled. Now, of course, this would have been easier if it would have been just liquid and not doing a yogurt type thing. Kind of like our pineapple popsicles. Would have worked a little bit better in this, but this will be fine. It's pretty heavy. All right, let's put our little handy dandy lid on there. Put our popsicle sticks in. Off to the freezer they go. 
for about six to eight hours. So I'll see you tomorrow and we'll try out one of these delicious blueberry yogurt Pop-Tarts. <laughs> Wait, not Pop-Tarts. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll see you tomorrow and we'll just try out one of our blueberry yogurt popsicles. Time to see what our popsicles turned out like. Remove the lid. So now let's try to get them out of here if we can. Here it comes. Whoops, I think I put the sticks on just a little too far. If you don't have popsicle molds, just put them in a little plastic cup, put foil over, put a little slit there, and then put your popsicle stick down and freeze it and just pour a little cool water on it and twist it around it will come right out. Success! If you want your popsicle a little softer, just let it lay out a little bit before you eat it. Once it starts to soften up, then you get into the blueberry flavor. I would recommend it. Recommend it. What you can do is then store them in popsicle bags. They sell those. Or just put them in Ziploc sandwich bags and then you can put them all in the freezer and I'll probably store them all in individual baggies and then put them in a gallon size Ziploc bag. So thanks for joining me here once again on Dee's Delights and I hope you enjoy your blueberry yogurt popsicles.